up, peeps? It's your girl, Dodge. Come back from all takes. Well, it's that time, I guess, is reaction time. And this is to Netflix's The Night Agent. This will be for episode seven, titled A Best Serve Cold. I'm really feeling a title. Coming off of episode six, which was a, it was a doozy. Just, I was here for everything. Not everything with the fact that poor Peter is now being framed and set up for, a, you know, supposedly, you know, taking the BV's daughter. But needless to say, just everything that happened in the show, seeing that Diane was well aware of what was going on with Gordon and the VP covering up. The only one I think who might not know, and I'm hoping I could be wrong, because every time it turns a different reveal, is the vi the, the actual president. Um, also, the situation with uh, Dale and Ellen. Dale no longer here. I wasn't here for him. I made it be known <laughs> in the reaction when he was getting his his tail whooped and all that and then trying to bait you know Rose a little bit about her aunt then also uh, the VP being well aware that Peter and Rose are on to them now it's like yeah all the little crap and the little comments you made about your daughter oh she ran away before I'll reach out to her and all that you're, you're not a good dad you're, you're some crap I know they're eventually going to probably so show some sort of backstory probably let's have a little bit of understanding of their relationship and all that but it's just knowing at the lengths he's going to the coverage tracks don't think nothing of him, you know, for the greater what. I'm just not here for it. So, and just, I can feel for Maddie in that instance. I will not say I don't like the fact that she lied to the Secret Service, especially, you know, to the one she's closest to, you know, Chelsea. So it's like, you know, we're stuck with her. And of course, you know, Eric trying to figure out where she's at. So hopefully they'll, you know, be able to come up with some stuff. I like how they were able to locate not locate but locate enough information with what she was storing in regards to a gentleman who I'm still you know wanting to know a little bit more on him the one with the tattoo so we'll have to see how that progresses but just knowing that you know there's only so many people Peter can trust truly which is honestly right now it's just Rose he had his Francisco who has now been you know murdered by you know Ellen I don't feel for Ellen because now Ellen lost the one person she cared about but she is going to be on the war path so now that means Rose and Peter, besides, you know, thinking the people from the White House, you know, after you, trust and believe me, she's going to be after you as well. So, you know what, with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Say those my thoughts other than you guys. Dude, so we can just, hold on. Maddie, give the toy to Sarah. But it's mine. Share or I'll take it away. He wasn't paying attention. You were supposed to be watching her. I know. No, you were supposed to be watching her. You're the works, father. May. Once you wish someone dead, that's it. Whatever you want, my father can get it for you. Just let me talk to him, please. What do you want? You didn't even hesitate. Called him one time. He was there. You gotta keep going. If we stop, a lot of people could get hurt. People have got hurt. And none of that was your fault. Peter, I'm gonna find the truth. And I'm gonna finish what they started. Do you remember the first time when I called Night Action? What you said to me on the phone when I was terrified in that closet? No. You told me to fight like hell. It's what I need you to do right now. For me. Oh! Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, wow. <laughs> they train subtle and so well in counter surveillance, he's practically vanished. I'll pay his college buddies a visit, see what they know. Dave's calling the ex fiance in Texas. All right. I got it. Warmly, Jim. Our return address. Also from Jim. I guess Sutherland didn't appreciate Jim's literary taste. This doesn't track for me. Which part? This place, this guy. I don't think he has Maddie. Maybe we should be working this from more than one angle. What do you have in mind? You still got that flyer? Any news on Maddie? Not yet. But she has to be alive. Nobody targets the VP's daughter unless they want something. It is Peter Sutherland. What the hell does he want? Just guessing, but he's always had a bug up his ass about his father, saying he was framed, the truth is out there kind of stuff. Might be his way of drawing attention to that. Really? He's gone rogue. 
For all I know, he's holding a Larkin girl hostage now, too. You promised me she'd be safe. If I knew then what I know now, I obviously would have brought him in. Because I believe in you. Your agenda can do so much good for this country. I hope you know that I would never try to sabotage that. I misjudged Peter, I admit that, but we'll find him and we'll save Maddie. So, if you want to protect the agenda, focus on the day-to-day. -day. Moving forward, I think you need to take a step back from this case. Oh! What about this man? Yeah, that's Paulo. Paul Bonetto, he's one of our core members. He teaches at Georgetown. He talked about bringing Maddie around here sometime, but it hasn't happened. He told me Paulo thought that if he recruited her, that she could amplify New Lee's message, and he was going to try to convince her to record a plug for us last night. And him? No. What about him? That's Mateo. Mateo. Mateo, who I don't know his last name. He started dating Paolo like eight or nine months ago. Oh. But I haven't seen him for weeks. My documents were leaked. Okay, that compromised U.S. defense strategies around the world. Uh, the breach was traced back to the FBI's counterintelligence division. My dad was section chief. Before they could charge him, none of the evidence was ever made public. What else do you remember about the bomber that night? I told the FBI everything. They interviewed hundreds of suspects. Well, can you check the work? Access is ruled. Oh, Liam's. Yeah, I mean, you still need his password, though. Luckily, you know someone with the skills and tools to crack it. Okay, you're a black hat now? And you're a wanted fugitive. Tell him the demands. Admit who your accomplices were. If you don't, I'll have Maddie tell the world what you did, and then I'll. Kill her for everyone to see. This is Maddie's life. I don't see any cameras here, so you can dial down the sympathetic father. <laughs> oh, fuck you. This is my daughter. And it's a little late to start caring about her now. Exactly. It's your old Manny Kim. Maddie was making noises to her therapist. Unfortunately, Dr. Hennings gave me a heads up about what Maddie was planning to show the world. Who's the digital copies? Oh. Oh, damn. I, I thought, thought we were, were all on the same team. Yeah, clearly not. We are. This just makes it official. Why did you tell him? And Paolo? Don't be too concerned. He don't like you. You were just as hard. Did he plan this with you? Paolo was using you for his propaganda campaign. I have a video that will end him. We just have to get it. Uh, the day before the FBI was just going to show up and interview him. I'm very suspicious. I mean, there's not even a cause of death listed. Look how thin the file is. It's like no one even bothered to look into the guy. The autopsy. Come on, man. Hack? Yeah, hack it. What we need won't be digitized. It's all on paper. We can dock tomorrow and we can visit the Office of Public Records like normal people. Peter Sutherland ran out of the White House through the tunnel to avoid answering questions. An innocent man doesn't do that. It is possible that he and this detail are all working together now. And Harrington and I are only suggesting that we work this from another angle. If the public sees us now abandoning the manhunt for Sutherland to chase after some sandal-wearing earth hugger, we can kiss this administration and our agenda goodbye. But sir, I really think you're the one who let Maddie escape right into the kidnapper's hands. Mmm. And I imagine you'd use all of your energy to find her. Mateo, does that mean anything to you? No. He's affiliated with some climate group called New Leaf. Do you recognize him? My wife Denise was murdered there last week. The only thing the cops found at the crime scene was a stolen baby. Some damage in the basement wall, which makes the cops think they took someone from there. I had the video in the basement. What was on the video? Stop being selfish. This event is sponsored by your sister's foundation. Your presence is non-negotiable. You're just gonna get up on that stage and start crying about how Sarah died because I wasn't watching her. I'm remembering things now about what happened that day by the pool. You always told me that Sarah drowned because of me. What are you fucking bitch? Get your ass downstairs. Why didn't you know that? He let her kill me. And then I got so mad, I just started to doubt if anyone would even listen to me. Oh! Ellen? You've been ignoring my call. If we do, take care of it. 
care of him. And I'll not make it be this one for you. Deal. All public records related to uh, Colin Worley. I can't release records without documentation. Please, my sister, I just want to protect her and just get her some answers or some. I understand it's a sensitive situation, but I can lose my job. I forgot this. They keep cameras in the office. Are you, Are you helping, helping that, that traitor? traitor? Not, Not a traitor. traitor. You're the king's arrest. We're bringing you in too. Jesus. Jim, Jim Wilson. Wilson. That, that would be me. Secret, Secret Service. Service. We have, we have a few questions about Peter Sutherland. And you guys barking up the wrong tree in this Matt Redfield case. Why is that? Peter cares about people. It doesn't matter if they're friends or strangers. He also cares what people think of him. This is not someone who just up and kidnaps the vice president. Do you know any place he might be? I know there's a trailer hitch on the truck outside. To my old place? My wife's in the Have us? What? It's a subsidiary of Turn Lake Industries. These are his arrest photos. Is it? There's a guy I know how to murder someone and get away with it, make it look like an accident, an overdose. So turn on hires Colin Worley. You stop it, you chase him, he escapes. And then they kill him to cover the tracks. And if we can find out who's trying to kill that day. I might be able to stop Farm Redfield from trying again in two days. Hands up! I said hands up! Talk back! Get your fucking hands up! Get on the ground! Both of you! On! Hands up! Hands up! Alright you guys, this was a good episode, a lot going on in this one, just like the last one with this of course Peter and Rose hiding out in a boat where we find out it's actually owned by his godfather. Of course FBI is involved, uh, Secret Service and all that detail with the director having uh, you know Eric and Chelsea be on the case to start trying to figure out where Peter could be with Maddie. Mind you, Maddie's being held up somewhere by a guy. Now that we have a name, I was Mr. Tattoo, but now we find his name is Mateo. So, so many things are coming out. Of course, being that uh, Chelsea and Eric are trying to find another angle because just things are not adding up, especially with Chelsea in regards to Peter, in regards to his, you know, clean cut, you know, certain things when they're checking, you know, his, you know, his background with his ex, you know, also with any friends who know him, his place. It's just, you know, Nothing is just special. They were trying to have something else to you know consider, and also with that little pamphlet that he used in regards to the art, the pictures. But mind you, dealing with Diane, of course, being a little bit very discreet and putting you know Chelsea and Eric on notice and all that to stay on Peter. Now, mind you, prior to that, the opening on this actual episode puts more stuff in perspective of how I feel about the VP and just his way of treating his daughter. Of course, you see the scene of him, you know, talking to somebody in regards, I'm assuming, to a campaign, you know, him running, you know, probably, you know, to be, you know, some sort of, you know, capacity might have been before him being VP or in the possibility of being the VP. Mind you, his two daughters, you know, Maddie and the other one, can't remember name at the moment, excuse me for that, fighting over, you know, a stiff animal. And of course, the dad's like, you know, Maddie, let her play with it, it belongs to me. Well, you need to share whatever. Mind you, Maddie walks away, goes to her room, I think drawing a you know, color book or whatever, and you hear the screams of the dad, you know, the daughter, the other daughter ends up drowning in the pool. Now, mind you, you see during the funeral him blaming Maddie. And I'm thinking to myself, why are you blaming her? She, you were supposed to, no, you're the parent. I don't care if you have the oldest child who might be a year or two years older. She's supposed to be watching her. No, you are the parent. So right there, I was already disgusted because I'm like, how are you going to put that on your young child and make her feel a certain way about her, her sister passing? You know, maybe if I, you know, say she's, you know, back, whatever. She's like, you know, she, she can, she'll come back. This is, and I felt so bad for her because, you know, in innocence in, in her to say something like that, like, no, you did this. You were supposed to be watching your sister. Really? And to have to live with that type of feelings all these years. And now I understand, you know, to an extent how she feels. Now, mind you, 
going back, honestly, I think to the first episode, that stuffed animal did not realize that she had recorded him. You see the scene of her explaining to the young guy, you know, you should be able to find this and all that. Now it makes sense why Dale and Ellen went to that family where the wife was because she was seeing a doctor and they had the recording or something, you know, in the stuffed animal, whatever. Of course, Ellen didn't realize, you know, we went looking for this, 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 but of course, they definitely were monitoring, you know, her seeing this doctor, talking to somebody and all that, doing what she needs to do, whatever that, and confiding. That's why Diane covered herself with that, and also Gordon Wick. They're like, if anything pops off, we have this as, you know, leverage. Granted, all three of them are involved in this now. I don't care how far Diane came into the fold after this crap happened with Gordon and the VP and them covering up, killing all these different people. Now, thinking about what's happening in regards to Maddie talking to Mateo about she could help him, I don't care from her father, and you've seen a reveal of what was on that actual video of her, you know, discussing, you know, it for her father to come and talk about you're supposed to go to some sort of campaign thing, you know, you're going to go up and cry about your daughter, come to find out you're the reason your daughter died, whatever, and I'm trying to blame it on me, whatever, and all that, and smacking her and this and that and all that, and him not realizing your daughter was going to embarrass you and make you look like just the... Uh, just the horrible parent he is and he's sitting there going, like please you are the reason all this in an in instance with your daughter is happening to an extent and then granted her being kidnapped not so much but then knowing Mateo said you know you make your father pay you did this and that and other and I'm like okay what else did he actually do also being that Mateo pretty much went through Paolo to get to Maddie lets you know he had of course a bigger agenda and all that you're going to help her to come on board with all and of course Paolo thinking this was a great way to bring her on whatever you know join this little you know whatever group and all that Greenleaf whatever it's called come to find out your your boy Mateo that you seduced and all that to bring on board and all that he had his own agenda so you were working with somebody who pretty much you know was your you were um a casualty <laughs> so it's just all messed up right there needless to say I just think about it, just a doozy at all in all with what was going on also just seeing how things have kind of took a little shift with Rose and you know Peter you know becoming intimate also now they're kind of really teaming to work together as if they were already doing that but now it's just like you know looking out for both of the, each other which I actually like excuse me so I will say that um, I'm really just kind of glad that she kind of is helping him put two and two together like hey well, certain things are not right you know we're dealing with the guy with the tattoo then we're also seeing this information about somebody who you know you know passed or whatever and all around that time during a bombing whatever and all that and might have saw some information in the instance of what was going on and looks like Mateo was part of the cause you know of the death of this individual and it was you know pretty much kind of um squeaky clean this gentleman named Colin or I think Worley so we're dealing with that where it looks like all this stuff's coming out and some subsidiary to you know that other company that Gordon and the VP were you know tied and of course Gordon being the CEO so it looks like you know in an instance you know they have this information they need to get a little bit more and all that so they can pretty much do what they need to do so they can get this information to write people so they can get Peter out of the situation of being accused of kidnapping Maddie now Mind you, Eric, you see the scene of Eric and Chelsea, you know, talking to the Godfather, him explaining, he's like, you know, looking around, scoping all that, because of course, Eric thinking he might know where he's like, yeah, he doesn't know. When he really thought his father had did what he did and certain things happened in regards to FBI and certain things get leaked, he automatically just, you know, did his digging and all that, being that he said he has a you know, background being a reporter, he, you know, believed his father, his father did it. And Peter just really you know took to the fact that you would blame her father you're close to us whatever now you were my father's best friend so you can feel like he would not go to him but granted he still you know knew the code to the actual boat he's like i don't think he would be there he's like is that a picture of you with him with the boat blah, blah, blah. so they end up going there and it looks like they got him at the end so i'm curious to see what's going to happen there because it's going to be very interesting if they're able to make it back you know with him in front of Diane but it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen in the next episode I will say this I really wish um Maddie could have you know kind of you know got the guy Mateo to at least you know be open to considering you know working with her and all that but he's about his own agenda you know I don't he he like why do you do it so, you know nobody would really believe me this and that. and I can understand her point in that instance with all that that's why she pretty much didn't do anything but the fact remains is that people were checking that information with the doctor sweetie even if it wasn't your dad you see Diane was able to figure out the stuff and all that and probably kept close tabs on that especially when you're working in administration to make sure nothing comes out gets leaked who knows not to say the doctor but somebody else close to him could use it against him to harm you know the, the VP down the road which in the end harms the president 
So that being, you know, captured, you know, the information, all that. And then you see how Diane and Gordon talk about, you know, we make copies, you know, when they're meeting, you know, undisclosed area so they can discuss how they're going to go move forward. Just, just a mess. But again, here for it. Enjoyed this episode. I will say that last little part that I remember call where uh, Rose was talking to a woman in the District Court of Maryland trying to get information on uh, Warley. But you see how I was mad at Peter. Like you standing there and they looking at your face. You just like out and about. You should have moved up somewhere and told her I'm going to move up or I'm going to go around the corner without I'm going to wait for you. Why are you standing right in front of the building with your face exposed like that? You don't have no hat on, no nothing. I really wish they didn't do it like that. But it adds, of course, to the scene. It's fine, whatever, and all that. And then the guy's going to sit there like, you the woman, are you being good? Like, I was like, you little creep, if you don't get the hell away from me, and you're going to try to record her. I was just like, oh, my God. You're like, just, ugh. But needless to say, in the end, it doesn't matter at the moment because now they have been captured. So I'm really looking forward, like I said, to see exactly what's going to happen, you know, when they're being brought in, you know, if they even make it and whatever. I don't know if Peter will be able to one up, but then now they're going to be handcuffed. So it's going to be very interesting if they're able to, to uh, you know, influence Eric and Chelsea in regards to, because you see Chelsea said, you know, I got to have something to tell the director because he's not feeling her right now. I don't particularly care for his ass, excuse my language, you know, and Diane, we already know what she's doing, all that trying to come for Chelsea, talking about some Maddie, this, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like... Girl, you have to, but I can see the president feel a certain way about her and feel like you might need to take a step back from this case. And the look on her face is like, yeah, what are you going to tell about that? If she, ooh, if she only knew that she really can't trust you and your judgment. But I'm just saying. So, you know, with that said, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care.